The Aston Martin Vantage just got a major upgrade for the 2025 model year. Following a similar move Aston made turning the DB11 into the DB12, the automaker has given the Vantage a facelift, reworked the cabin, and given the car a lot more power. This fancy pants sports car just got a whole lot sportier. On the outside, the style of the Vantage has changed only a little bit. It's primarily an updated face. The grill is larger, the fenders are reworked a bit, and the headlights are different as well. I actually preferred the prior version of the headlights, but I do feel like the reshaped grill feels like a nod to past Aston designs. In profile and three-quarter views, the car remains an absolute stunner of a machine. What's more stunning, though, is the bump in power. There's still a twin turbocharged 4 liter V8 under the hood, or bonnet if you want to get fancy. Now though it's cranking out 656 horsepower and 590 pound feet of torque. That's an increase of 128 horsepower and 85 of the torques compared to the prior F1 edition of the V8 powered Vantage. There was a limited run V12 Vantage that makes 690 horsepower, but Aston only cranked out 333 of those. Aston is sticking with the tried and true ZF8 speed, and the powertrain setup is said to be good for a zero to 60 run of just 3.4 seconds and a top speed of 202 miles per hour. That larger grille lets in more air, which helps keep the car cool. The chassis has been stiffened up and adaptive dampers are standard kit. Aston says the Vantage has a perfect 50-50 weight balance, which means playing around with the E-diff settings should yield quite an entertaining driving experience. You get different drive modes, which are listed as wet, sport, sport plus, track, and individual. Then there are different levels of traction control so you can keep things nice and tidy or let the tail hang out. And you can also turn traction off as well if you prefer. Cast iron brakes are standard with the front rotor sitting at 15.7 inches in diameter. You can also choose to spec carbon ceramics instead. The wheels are 21 inch forged alloys with the fronts running nine and a half inches wide while the rears are a massive 11 and a half inches wide. Those get wrapped in Aston Martin specific Michelin Pilot Sport S5 tires with 275 fronts and 325s in the back. Another big change to the updated Vantage is apparent when you open the door. The cabin gets a new digital gauge cluster and center display. Also, there's a new restyled gear selector. For music lovers, the base level audio system is an 11 speaker system with a surround sound mode, but the optional upgraded system is a 15 speaker, 1,170 watt Bowers and Wilkins setup that should kick a serious amount of butt. Still, it's also fun to turn down the music and just listen to the car. Production of the new Vantage starts now, and deliveries are set to begin sometime during Q2 of 2024. The price hasn't been announced yet, but it should start a little below 200 grand and easily crest that figure once you add on the ceramics, the better sound system, and a few other optional Q-Spec goodies.